What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another iOS 12 jailbreak update video. So a new version of Uncover has been pushed out and it is beta 46. As you guys can see, I've already updated to it on my 10s Max. Now this is a pretty big update. It does uh, bring a lot more stability to the jailbreak and I would recommend to anybody that is running the Uncover jailbreak to update to this newer version. Uh, we can go ahead and jump into Twitter. And uh, as you guys can see here, uh, this was an update that was pushed out yesterday. Uncover version 3.0.0 beta 46 was released to fix a major instability issue on iOS 12 and more. Uh, if we go ahead and go to the GitHub page here and swipe all the way down until we get to beta 46, I'll give you guys some more details about this update. So here it is right here, beta 46, improve assertion, prevent device from sleeping while app is active. So while the uncover app is open, your device will no longer go to sleep. Uh, and then here's the big update here, uh, internally disable the disable app revokes switch and revert its changes. If it was used before to prevent major instability issues that caused issues with loading tweaks on iOS 12. And then there is a status right here which better explains what this bug is. If we go ahead and select on that, of course it's going to jump me into the regular Twitter application here. Uh, so it seems like Apple saw what I was doing to disable revokes with Uncover on iOS 11 and semi-patched the method on iOS 12. Sigh. The, uh, the method still works, yet it causes instability and issues such as respring loops and or, uh, respring loops with reload system daemons. Uh, so for any of you that have been getting stuck in respring loops, this is probably the cause. Uh, luckily, like I said, with beta 46, it actually did uh, update that and stop it from doing that. So if you guys are having issues with tweaks causing issues, respring loops, or anything like that, like I said, this is a pretty pretty big update for uh, the betas here to bring a lot more stability to this jailbreak. Um, so I definitely recommend updating to it. If you guys want to see a really cool method of updating the uncovered jailbreak, uh, if you guys are on devices that can have tweaks, so not the 10s Max, the 10s, or the 10R, uh, anything older than that that you can have access to Cydia, I did make a video on how you can actually use Siri to update your jailbreak, and all you literally have to say is Siri, update my jailbreak, and then it will run a Siri shortcut and update the uncovered jailbreak. It's super handy, and it makes uh, updating the jailbreak so much easier than uh, deleting it, going into like Tweakbox, reinstalling it. It's just quicker and more efficient. So I'll leave the video link for that down in the description. It's definitely a really cool one. I'd recommend you guys to check out. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. Just wanted to update you on the jailbreak, let you know there was a big update pushed out yesterday. Stay tuned in for more coverage. Hopefully we'll get some more updates for the newer devices, the 10s, 10s Max, and 10R. Uh, and hopefully we get Cydia and Substrate support for those here in the near future. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later!